Hello, it's me again. In this video, I'd, look, I'd like to talk about the eternal punishment of the devil, of Satan and his angels, and the unsaved people. Now, the Bible discusses the eternal punishment of Satan and his fallen angels in several key verses, most notably in the book of Revelation and um, that's Revelation 20.10. The verse specifically states, And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They, who the fallen angels, the devil, the, fo the fallen prophet, the false prophet, they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. This is one of the verses that indicates the eternal punishment of Satan and his angels, fallen angels. Another verse would be Matthew 25, 41. Jesus speaks about the, the, the final punishment. He says, then he will say, to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. This verse suggests that the eternal fire is often equated with hell and was specifically prepared for the devil and his angels and the unsaved people. Now, my question is, who is going to maintain the fire? Because all of the fallen angels and Satan and the unsaved people will be in this lake of fire. Where does the energy come from? Is it... Um, nuclear energy? Is it thermonuclear energy? Is it green energy? Is it solar energy? Is it natural gas? Is it petroleum, gasoline, diesel, fuel? I don't know. But the main question is, that comes to my mind, is who is going to oversee that torture? I think the holy angels of God and God himself, the triune God, will oversee his holy angels, his unfallen angels, torture their brethren, the fallen angels, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and forever and ever and ever in this eternal lake of fire. They will increase the temperature from 5 to 7 to 8 to 20 to 30 to 1000, I don't know. And they will have such pleasure here in the screamings of the unsaved people and of the devil and his fallen angels. And the saved people, they will be watching the torture. Maybe, not maybe, I'm sure they will see an unsaved relative, unsaved brother, unsaved sister, unsaved child, unsaved mother, um, unsaved father, did I mention father, uh, unsaved uncle, unsaved aunt, unsaved close friend and they will be watching I assume something like uh, let's say the world championship where you sit in front of the TV and you watch the championship so they will be watching their brethren so to speak and their I think 
most of their relatives will be there and they'll the safe people will be watching them being tormented in the eternal lake of fire by these humble and meek and nice unfallen angels by the god's angels and i think god will be god the father god the son and god the holy spirit will be the main overseers so to, so to say so to speak the the, the chief executive officer because uh, uh, satan and the fallen angels and the un, uh, unsafe people will be executed there they will be literally executed but they will be executed forever and ever for eternity now this is also a violation of this roman principle of i think in english it's called double jeopardy where you can't have uh two or more punishments for the same crime and here we'll have an a finite crime committed by the unsafe people and being punishment but punished eternally for this finite crime in other words they will there will be an infinite punishment for a finite crime the roman principle and every uh, principle of law of each and every country and land of this world states that the punishment for any crime must be commensurate and proportionate proportionate to the crime committed and there cannot be and must not be and, and ought not to be uh, two or more punishments for same crime but here you will have eternal and infinite punishment for a very 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 tiny little crime compared to the infinity compared to the infiniteness of the um, punishment of the length of the punishment and of the strength of the punishment in other words both the length and the strength of the punishment would be eternal and infinite for finite crimes this is some food for thought that I wanted to give you tonight.